Customers of the Kittery Water District are raising concerns about plans to switch to a new disinfectant called chloramine. It's formed by mixing chlorine and ammonia. The germ killing treatment has been used for years at dozens of water treatment plants throughout Maine, but some residents with health problems worry that the disinfectant could make their conditions worse and cause a financial burden for some businesses. New Center's Vivian Lee has the story. Skin rashes and respiratory issues and Julia O'Connell burned her lungs and almost died after she was exposed to bleach while working as a nurse. She worries about what's going to happen after a disinfectant called chloramine is added to her water. There is anecdotal evidence, you know, the people that it affects say this is real, that, that chloramine will kind of outgas with secondary byproducts in your shower and it's a respiratory irritant. The Kittery Water District, which has about 13,000 customers, is preparing to switch from chlorine to chloramines to prepare for the final phase of its water treatment plant renovation. For one week in June and three months next year, Kittery will have to purchase water from neighboring water districts, which use chloramines. Mixing the water supplies could result in poor taste, odors, and color issues. The EPA says chloramines are safe and effective, but can kill household fish, impact production at bakeries and breweries, and can't be used in kidney dialysis machines. Chloramines can be filtered out through specialized carbon systems, which run between two to $5,000. There's also concern about unregulated byproducts left behind in the process. Residents want the district to conduct a study on any possible health effects. We read about peas every day, now stratum, and places in Maine are having issues. Mm -hmm. Even if one person has respiratory issues based on going to chloramine for no reason other than compatibility. We've told the community that we will test for those unregulated byproducts just to make them, them feel better and feel more confident about the water. Now, emergency preparedness is another key reason behind the change. More than 200,000 customers from York to Portland drink water with chloramine, and Kittery wants to be able to access water for neighboring districts in the future. More than 40% of the district's water supplies Portsmouth Naval Shipyard, the area's largest employer. A fire, a large main break, uh, things like that would, would force us to, uh, to purchase water from our neighbors and hopefully prevent any major water shortage. But residents say they are considering appealing the planned switch to the Public Utilities Commission. In Kittery, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. A question and answer session will be held in May for Kittery Water District customers. And we do have a lot more information about chloramines on our website and mobile app.